YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to get game cartridges to start in your Nintendo every time, the first time, every time, especially if you have a hard time getting it going, even though you use a Q-tip and alcohol, which normally works, but sometimes you're just going to have to open up the cartridge and do, uh, sand the contacts. What you're going to need here is the 600 grit paper, 800 grit will be even better. Need some alcohol or Windex. A game bit from GameMuseum.com to open up the screws here. So you also need pencil or for an eraser, magic eraser optional. So let's pop this guy in. Nothing. And to prove my Nintendo works, Rad Racer, same problem, all corroded on the contacts. Pop that bad boy in. First time. So, now I'm just gonna pop you guys on the tripod right here. Now let's get started. First you want to do is you want to grab your driver bit right here. This is a 3.5 millimeter bit. That's used to use these to open up these security bits. So what you want to do is you want to do that, unscrew all three. Now what you want to do to open it, you want to pull the back part up. Wait, let me make sure it's... Okay. Open up the back part here. Pull up on the back part and just push. You pull up on the back part right here, then you just pull like that, pull out. Now you get to here, where you can just pull out the cartridge. You see all that nasty green stuff on here? Let me see that nasty green corrosion right there? You're not going to get that off of the normal Q-tip and alcohol. So what we're going to do is first we're going to clean it how we normally will. Using your Q-tip and your alcohol. Get that wet. Not too wet. Wipe some of off on your pants. Get down to cleaning that guy. Not much coming off because I already cleaned it. Do that to the other side. Oh, this side's even worse. Yeah, look at all that nasty stuff. Look like someone spilled soda there. See, like right here, right there. You know what you're gonna do is take your pencil. Then you want to erase the contacts. This helps get rid of some of the dirt on there before you sandpaper it. And there you go. And now what you want to do is you want to take your 600 grit sandpaper and get it wet. Now this won't, if you don't do it too much or too hard, this won't ruin your contact, so just take off the corrosion and stuff. Take your wet sandpaper and go three times across it. One, two, three. Depending on how much gunk is on there, you might have to go more times. And you just wipe it off with a Q-tip. See how dirty it is? Still gotta go a little bit more on there. It's probably two more full strokes. Wipe that away. And there you go. Looks much better, doesn't it? Still some bad spots. 
that by sanding it more. Sometimes you're going to have to do a lot more sanding on other games. Most games usually just takes three. This looks horrible. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. This isn't that bad, so I'm only going to do three. One. Two. Three. I'm gonna have to go a couple more times because this isn't coming off right away. Don't want to do it too much. You might actually ruin the contacts then. And take some magic eraser and finishing touches. And now you want to take a towel and you're gonna dry off the contacts real quick. Don't want any excess water going into your Nintendo. That looks so much better than before. So then you just pop this back in the cartridge, in the casing, like so. Now you just tighten these things up. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna put it in our Nintendo. Take Rad Racer out. It's hard to do with one hand. Pop Prisoner of War back in the console. And SNK, first try. Right there we go. This game is fun as hell. Try it one more time. SNK. Be right back. I'll see you next time. I want to go play some Prisoner of War, so see you guys next time.